Good evening from Tenerife. Well, I had to try an Indian meal while I was here in Playa Las Americas, and there's no better place than Mr. Singh's. One and, of the best Indian. And this is Mr. Singh himself. So the family are inside. We are going to have an Indian meal here in Playa Las Americas. We're not far from Puerto Colón, and we're right by the Ibera Star Bougainvillers Hotel. Come and see this guy, Mr. Singh himself. He is the legend here in Tenerife. Thank I'm you. going to take you lot with me and you're going to enjoy some of the best food. Come on, let's go and have an Indian meal in Tenerife. Let's go. Thank you so much. Boom. So here we are, we're at Mr. Singh's in Tenerife. I tell you what, this place looks lovely. And a few of you said, I've got to come and try this place. So I bought these lot along, and I tell you what, they're looking forward to it, aren't you? <laughs> right, so let's have a look at the menu. Well, straight off, Indian Tandoori restaurant. And there's a little welcome note in here that say that the dishes come from a northern India and a region called Punjab, which is where these guys are all from. And I like the menu, because I tell you what, it's really hard, look, look at that. You can tell it's a good menu when it's a good quality menu, not just a piece of paper. More than likely, you're gonna get good food. Drinks have been ordered. I am on <laughs> a posh water. Mrs. Travelon has got herself a water, and a, wine. a water and a wine. I think she thinks she's Jesus Christ. Alfie's got a Sprite, and Jack has got a Diet Coke. And I tell you what, we are starving. Who's hungry? So there's loads of starters on offer from 4 95 to 6 95 And the 6 95 is a king prawn puri, and I love that. So the prices are very, very reasonable for an Indian restaurant. Let's have a look at the mains. Well, mains are sort of ranging from 11 95 up to 12 95 You've got masala, you've got korma, you've got rosin, josh. You've got everything. And you've got some specials as well, chef specials, mango chicken, lemon chicken, butter chicken. I think Mrs. Travelon's going for yeah, butter okay. chicken. Mm, Mrs. Travelon's going for that. Lamb methy, I had that last time. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna go for. And you lot, mention in the comments what you think when I come to places like Indians and Chinese. What do you want me to order? Because I'll order what you tell me. I'll eat anything, I don't care. But I reckon I'm, I might go for a garlic chili, chili chicken. So as always, Mrs. Travelon was in charge of ordering because if it's left down to me, well, there'd be nothing on the table. I'm far too tight. But Mr. Singh himself came over and took our order. And I really like that personal touch. That mixed grill looks amazing, doesn't it? And he explained all the menu and all the different spice levels as well. He was so nice. And the service here was incredible. Mr. Singh's is beautiful. Look at this, all lit up. And it's situated not far from the Bougainvilliers Hotel and not too far from Puerto Colón as well. If you've been to Las Americas before, you'll recognize this street and this place is super popular. You'll always be met with a smile and welcomed inside and you can sit outside. There's a huge terrace if you want to sit in the fresh air or you can sit inside as well, which is where we were. Now, I love the decor of this place. They've got all your drinks, all your wines, all your beers, everything you could possibly imagine. And I did like the little touches that they had that give it that sort of Indian authenticness with a little bit of Mr. Singh thrown in. God, I tell you what, we've got a banquet coming. We've got Papa Dom's on the way. We've gone for the special. That's the mixed special. Mr. Singh special. You, you've got to have that off the menu, haven't you? If it's a Mr. Singh special. Papa Dom's have arrived. <laughs> Can't wait to get stuck into them. And as always, they come with the special Mr. Singh sauces. And I can't wait to get stuck into that. That is my favourite, the onion and the mint and the mango. Mrs. Travelon, which one's your favourite? Mango. Mango, right. Well, one each. One each, Alfie, don't nick mine. Let's get stuck in. Mrs. Travelon's always last. <laughs> she can have the one at the bottom. Right, so let's give this a try. I'm gonna just give a little bit of the sauces a try. Look, of course, we've got a little bit of the mint as well. Alfie is crunching away there no sauce on it just dry like it's a big crisp and straight in with the onion oh, 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 look at that so you've got to make it look a little bit sort of presentable on the plate before you get your popper done well and break it up don't you 
let's face it, it is a big crisp. Let's get stuck into this. So I've asked before, what are you at an Indian restaurant? So let me know in the comments, are you a scooper or a dipper? I, personally, am a scooper. I like to scoop it all on. Mmm, wow. Mmm, that onion's got a bit of a kick to it. Wow, if the onion's that spicy, I asked for a spicy curry. Mm. Wow, that is really nice. It's got a kick, hasn't it? Well, the poppadoms were soon gone and this beautiful Mr. Singh's special platter arrived. Look at this. The colours, the smells was beautiful and even more sauces. I tell you what, we were ready for this and these two were super happy. The Mr. Singh special has arrived. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it doesn't have to look special. Are you ready for this? Yeah. yeah. This is travel on space. It's like a light. I cannot wait to course. get stuck in. It is like a main course. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is amazing. I don't even know where to start and what it is. That's definitely chicken tikka. That's definitely an onion bhaji. That's a samosa. I don't know what the green one is. That's vegetable pakora. Vegetable pakora. Um, we've got some other things here, which basically I haven't got a clue, but it looks absolutely delicious. Look at that. Look at the presentation. Look at the color. And I tell you what, this screen was scratch and sniff. Well, oh, I can tell you, it smells delicious. So we've got all these sauces as well because I always worry when you order papadoms and use all your sauces. I always ask for more, but Mr. Singh has bought me, well, some others. So tell me, which one we got? Tamarind sweet. Yeah. Chili sauce. Yeah. And garlic mayonnaise sauce, okay? Right. So it's your mint tikka, chicken pakoda, shake kebab, vegetable pakoda, vegetable samosa, onion bhaji, and chicken tikka. Wow. And lollipop. <laughs> okay then, Alfie. I think, officially, you can get stuck in. Go! <laughs> oh, he's gone straight for the tikka. He didn't even take a breath then. Is that nice? You're not even going to cut it, are you? Straight in. He likes his tikka. Look at that. So I'm going straight in with the chicken tikka. Look at that. Look at the colour. Oh, absolutely delicious. I've got to give this a try. Give it a cut. It looks so tender. And I'm going to try it with one of the sauces. I'm going to go with this green one and just put a bit of that in. Oh wow, have you tried the sauces? I tried the um, garlic one, it's nice and mm. it's too strong. Right, let's go for a little bit of garlic mayo as well. A little dip of garlic mayo on there. Wow, it's delicious. I'm going for the final one. What was the dark sauce, can you remember? Like a sweet sauce. Like a sweet one. I actually quite like the green one better than the others. Right, before these are actually demolish everything, and this is why I don't do tapas, because by the time you've done this, these lot have eaten it. We've got the green one, which is a vegetable. Absolutely delicious, everything is beautiful. This one is like a samosa. Have a little dip of sauce in there. And we've got this as well, look at that. Let's get that cut open, beautiful look all the potato inside absolutely beautiful right let's get this down there look at that mm, absolutely delicious and last but finally not least and i'm not sure what this is but i'm just going to dive in look at potato fritter absolutely gorgeous if you're not hungry by now, well, you will be when you see these mains. The mains arrived and service here again was quick. It was with a smile. It was absolutely perfect. And just look at these curries. I don't know what Mrs. Travelon thinks she's up to, but she certainly overordered. We got naan breads as well. Not just one, but two naan breads. One for me and one for them lot to share. <laughs> Alfie went for more sizzling meat, but I think he might have overdone it. Look at that face. I don't know how he's going to get that down him, but look at the presentation, the colours, the smells. This place is fabulous. Everybody was ready to get stuck in. Mrs. Travelon was super happy and Jack was super ready to get that Indian meal down him. Let's go. Wow, what can I tell you? 
this has just arrived, the colours again are incredible. Alfie's just is sizzling. The sound of Alfie's is like the sizzling chicken. Everything's bubbling. <laughs> Everything's like red hot. I mean, look at that naan. Even the naan's got a little bit of colour to it. I would sort of pick them up and show you, but they're like super hot and they've got the little heating things underneath. The only thing I can show you is like the rice. And that looks good, doesn't it? Oh, and I can just grab this one. Let's grab this one, which I think is the actual extra sauce for Alfie's chicken. I mean, this is gonna be amazing. So these lot are all waiting to get stuck in. I'm waiting to get stuck in. Let's get stuck in. Right, Mrs. Trouble on serving up. Alfie's looking like he's ready to get stuck in. Look at him. He is not messing around. <laughs> no messing. And I don't know where to start, if I'm honest with you. I don't even know what I've ordered. Which one's mine? That's yours. That's the Rogan. That's the Rogan. So I've got some. So this is the Kima naan. I think it's the Kima naan. Yeah, this is the Kima naan. Look at that. Look at that. It's like shiny. We've got some mushroom pillow rice, which I'm going to get straight on. Half and half with Mrs. Travel on. All right. I'll give her half. Have a little bit extra. Got to get a little bit extra in it, yeah. Even if it's just a tiny bit. And then I've got the Rogan Josh. So there it is, the Rogan Josh in all its glory. Look at it. Oh, do you know what? I'm just going to plunk it straight on because I know for a fact I am going to eat every single morsel of this. So, it's gone all over my keema naan. So I'm going to give that a go first and just show you. Wow. Now that is absolutely incredible. And remember, remember at the beginning of this video when he said, what heat do you want? I said, yeah, yeah, give it me heart, I'll be all right. It's a bit spicy. <laughs> it's not too hot for Mr. Travel on. I can take it. Wow. It's definitely got a kick to it, but I like that. The last few Indians that I've been to, it's been a little bit mild. I do like a little bit of a kick, but you know when that kick gets a little bit hotter and hotter and hotter? That's where I'm at. I couldn't be doing the one chip challenge, could I? I'm going to have a little dip of the butter chicken. Mm. Totally different to the Rogan Josh because Obviously, it's not it's not spicy at all. Right then, in the rogue and Josh, well, the sauce is there, but it's actually chicken and prawn. And the chicken is super, super soft as well. And I'm a sucker for prawns. Look at the size of that. With a bit of mushroom from the mushroom pillow rice. <laughs> i tell you what. Can you see the perspiration on this scalp? Right, and Jack's gonna give my Rogue and Josh a little try. See if it's too spicy for him. <laughs> what do you reckon? All right, for now. We'll come back in a minute. <laughs> nah, nothing. He's hardcore, just like his dad. Right then, Alfie has allowed me, allowed me to try his chicken sizzler. But I'm only allowed a bite, because I tell you what, this kid will demolish the lot. He's not messing around. He can eat like his dad. But look at that, absolutely beautiful. You can see the spices and the colors again on there. <laughs> Smells is delicious. I'm gonna have to take a big bite, but don't tell him. Mm. Mm. He's giving me dirty look. Mm. He's giving me dirty looks. I'm gonna have one more. Mm. That is. You may as well just have the whole thing. That is fantastic. I better give it him back, I don't know. Yeah. I tell you what, that face says it all. That was delicious. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Oh god, it was amazing. Mrs. Travelon. So good. I am ready for a sleep now. I don't know about you. Dying. They've just brought us out. Look, the dessert menu. I ain't doing a dessert. Sometimes there's room for one, but not this time. Too many naan breads, I reckon. I had a little bit too much bread. Otherwise, I'd have definitely snuck in 
a mango ice cream. Oh, God. Oh, beautiful. But honestly, this place is fantastic. It's up by the Iberia Star Bougain Villas Hotel, so it's not far from there. And you can find it just down the street. And um, there's an Aberdeen Steakhouse, there's a little bar next door. I'm going to put the map anyway so you know exactly where it is. You have to go for that starter, the selection of starters. That was good, wasn't it? Because I enjoyed every little piece of that. Alfie was dive straight in with the tikka masala. You got well into that as well, didn't you? The little starter thing. And I tell you what, the Rogan Josh was spicy, but not too bad. You had the butter chicken. My favourite. Out of 10? 10. <laughs> Look at that. Jack, you had the tikka masala, but you preferred the butter chicken. Right there, so next time we go for an Indian, what are you going to have? Chicken tikka masala, butter chicken, or are you going to go for something spicy? Something spicy, right, okay. Well, you heard it first. He's going to go for something spicy, and we're going to make him eat every little bit of it until he's sweating. It'll be like the one chip challenge times 10. And of course, I can't forget Alfie with his mixed grill that I had a little nibble of the chicken. He ate every single mouthful of it. How was it? Was it amazing? Usually, is that amazing? Was it good? Did you enjoy it? Incredible. There you go. And so you like the, you like the sizzling meat, don't you? Yes. Like the tandoori and the chicken tikka. Fantastic. Are we going to get you on a curry next time? Maybe. Maybe. I don't think so. Maybe we'll get him to try one. So there you go. That was Mr. Singh's player, Las Americas, Tenerife, near to Porticolon. Thanks for coming with us. Thanks for joining us for dinner. It was absolutely beautiful. And get yourself down here and make sure to come and give Mr. Singh a little visit. From me, Mr. Travelon, it's goodbye. Make sure to like, follow and subscribe. From Mrs. Travelon, it's goodbye. Jack? Bye. And it's a goodbye from me. I'll see you next time for some Travelon tastes. See you later.